In this IQT5 tutorial, we'll build an image loader. So, first start the designer program wherever it's located on your machine. So, something like this. Uh, press create. And at the menu here. We want to open and exit very basic uh, image loader principle then uh, we need something to show the picture so we have a, a graphics view here and okay, delete that status bar, we don't need it let's have a look preview space like this um, okay that will be okay we have a file menu here and we'll export this UI so save as um, image window not UI then uh, we will hold on I need to use the command We'll create the uh, so we call this image window UI and we'll export to a Python file called image window py and minus x will make this an executable program. So if we run this, uh, you'll see your image window appearing right here with the menu. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything yet, we just designed, designed the graphics then uh, let me just edit this okay then we'll load uh, the open the file so image window.py and you'll see the code that we created with the designer program um, but we don't actually see any um, anything so um, let's create uh, some graphics in there. We'll first search for the graphical thing. It's this one, the graphics view. And uh, we want the graphics view to, uh, to load an image. do that uh, by adding a scene to it so this is the view then we'll say uh, graphics view graphics scene and this scene contains the image so whatever picture uh, so let me just uh, download a picture here real quick Download a picture called qt.png. Just saving an image here. Um, so that we can actually display that upon running. Um, and we'll tell the 
some graphics view to set that scene. So I think if we start it now, we made another typo. Things imported and so mm. just import everything. graphics scene. Um, let me have a look. Missing Q Pix map. And let's see Q to GUI. So now we have our uh, little program with an image already displaying on start and these buttons don't do anything. Um, so we have a very basic uh, image loader that loads an image at start but no extras. Uh, so these are the lines that add uh, the graphic. Then we want to add uh, some functionality to, to the menu. So um, let's say self. So first, let's make an exit functionality. Um, Triggered, connected, and we'll say Q application dot quit. So with this line, we can actually exit the program. We run it. Um, we obviously made some mistake. To import Q application, um, so here we have our window, and if we press File Exit. It exits. So the only thing left to do is to connect the open uh, button. We press file open, nothing happens. Then um, we want to have an uh, open menu. So some open file dialog upon uh, creation. So that actually, when we um, when we open something that uh, that 
it actually opens an image. So. It's called the shell dialog. And you can open the an open file dialog using uh, this function. In my case, I'll just put it in the right directory. Um, and let's just point the file name after that. So now it's not connected to this function yet. Um, we'll say we'll connect to shield dialog, or actually self the shield dialog. We press file open. Uh, we ha still have a missing import. So let's add that dialog in here. And we made some mistake in there. function looking this up real quick should actually work um, Sure, it's the right command. Uh, yes. Scale that. Looks okay, actually. File dialog. Okay, I think we add a zero here. It might actually work. No. Um, let's 
case the type is not main window it just changed it we have the same we have a main window so to import that as well There we got our open file dialog. So if we press open, it returns the file name. Uh, so we just fixed it by specifying it to inner it from Q main window. And uh, now that we have the file name, we can actually change the uh, image. So. Let's make it um, set a new image. So specify this to to load the image. So a file name here. Save it and run. Select Qt PNG. And that seems to work. Um, but we already set the image upon loading, so let's quickly remove that. And we can actually see if it works. So file open, Qt PNG, there we got our image. So we made our first basic image loader uh, with PyQt5.